podcast title so you still cannot trade must be iron sport again hey everyone it's your favorite trader eip here welcome back to another episode of why still can trade buckle up because today we're diving into the deep philosophical reasons why your trading is a mess spoiler alert it's definitely not because you lack discipline or strategy no no it's way more complicated than that maybe iran maybe israel the moon retrograde let's break it down you know trading is hard i get it you log in pull up those charts and wow that's a lot of red and what do you do you turn on the news oh man iran's causing oil prices to spike or israel's geopolitical tension is making my taste flop i mean yeah sure it's definitely because of that one news headline you have listened to this morning while chugging down your third coffee mm it has nothing to do with the fact that you don't know the difference between a candlestick and birthday candle right right let's be real if it were not for these global crises you'd be a trading genius by now right i mean without iran you'd probably be sipping cocktails on a beach somewhere checking your million dollar portfolio from your phone <clears throat> yeah iran stop sabotaging your portfolio you had such bright future ahead of you now israel oh don't get me started on that if it wasn't for that you would be warren buffett's main competition you would have so much money that you could pay someone to blame random world events for you but so sad here you are glued to that same support line and that guru's youtube channel watching it crumble like a house of cards while you're saying must be the fault of iran again let's not forget about how you called the top back in 2022 year the one you didn't trade because while well, iran was being a real pain that day totally threw off your vibes i mean how dare they distract you like that but let's shift the focus here for a moment it's not just about geopolitics i know you also blame china brexit the price of avocados mercury retrograde and your cat for messing with your trades at this point it's just a conspiracy everyone and everything is in on it the universe has conspired against you to make sure you do not understand basic trading that is when to buy or when to sell makes total sense look it's not like you need to actually learn about stop losses or position sizing or maybe even how to read a chart without crying that's amateur stuff what you need is to spend more time on social media absorbing hot tips from people with usernames like at the rate trader king 2024 who are always unsure themselves but a lot of opinions yeah that's where the real magic happens who needs years of experience or a solid plan when you can just wing it and then blame global politics when it doesn't work out genius ah uh, and don't you love when your friends ask how your things going oh they have no idea what you've been through you just look them straight in the eye and say yeah well i would have been a millionaire but you know jo politics it's all rigged man i'm just waiting for iran and israel to settle down and then i'll start making real money uh, here's the thing though maybe just maybe the real issue isn't iran or israel or whichever country made headlines this week maybe it's you and the fact that you have spent your life watching people make random up and down lines in two directions the fact that you have conditioned your mind not to understand the market but to think that news drives the markets because you are a know it all but then the market decline and the only logical explanation according to the internet's finest is because of the israel iran situation yep that's it it has nothing to do with you know your lack of trading talent i yes the classic excuse you are not losing the trade it is just sudden outburst of war escalation otherwise stock market could have continued to go up like it always do you know those geniuses who wake up turn on cnbc and base their entire trading strategy on whichever headline jim primer screaming about that morning like bro if your idea of research is watching cable news or scrolling twitter for 10 minutes i got bad news for you you are not trading you are just gambling with a wifi connection these are the same people who think they can time the market business on headlines like what tensions rise but can figure out why they are always late to the party by the time they hit the sell button everyone else has already cashed out and they left holding the bag wondering why their portfolio looks like a dumpster fire yeah sure it's the news definitely not your lack of competence so the next time you're about to blame your losses on a headline ask yourself am i really bad at trading or is it just iran's fault again spoiler it's you always has been anyway i got to get back to my charts but hey if you want to stop blaming world events for your trading mishaps maybe it's time to hang out with someone who knows how to trade stock market everything is plan.com shameless plug thank you very much until next time stop blaming the news start learning how to trade and maybe just maybe you'll stop missing the trade all right folks we've reached the end of this wild ride if you enjoyed listening to me roast the geopolitical experts and their wild trading theories do me a solid and hit that like button it's the only way i know you're out there 
not just scrolling mindlessly while blaming the next war for your trading fails. And if you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? It's free. Just like my trading tips, except those might actually cost you a few dollars if you don't listen carefully. So hit the subscribe button and join our little community of traders who actually pay attention to the market. Share this podcast with your friends, family, and that one buddy who always blames the news for his bad trades. Let's make sure everyone knows that it's not Israel or Iran. It's probably just a case of not knowing the difference between a stock and a rock. Bye-bye. Yeah.